Hey guys, this is Dustin and Pat from MattKiteboarding.com. Here today to talk to you about the new Asylum V10. Let's get into it. Sweet. So yeah, we both rode this board yesterday. Yeah, absolutely stellar. You know, nothing crazy new with it. Some pretty stellar new graphics on it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a tried and true Asylum. If you've ridden any of the previous versions, it's more or less been unchanged. Um, really kind of a high rocker line, more of a freestyle board, pretty stiff. Definitely stiff. But that chop still helps kind of absorb some of the chop. I wouldn't say it's the best board in chopping conditions, but with the rocker line that has it, does the job well enough. Yeah, I mean, it was super choppy yesterday, and, and you know, I wouldn't say we were slicing like butter, but you know, my knees aren't hurting too bad today, considering all. Yeah. Um, yeah, really good pop for loading pop tricks. Nice soft landings with the rocker line that it has. Uh, the one thing I say about the Asylum is always, when you, you know when you land a trick good on the Asylum because it kind of gives you a little bump back throughout the board. Yep, yep. And you get that little extra nice little smack sound when you hit the water. So it's kind of always a good feeling. I've always loved about the Slingshot Asylum. I had one personally probably six years ago. It's and Tried and true. You yeah. hop on and you feel like you're at home. All right, so some of the pros and cons that I've noticed about the board, it's a little heavy, I will say. Like the Asylum, it's not a lightweight board. It's definitely it's not, not what it's designed side. for. Pro and con. The rocker line. Definitely. It's a great thing for in chopping conditions, a great thing for in pop. It doesn't rock it upwind that well. Not a crazy upwind board. I will say the pop on this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, I was able to land a couple tricks to blind like real easy yesterday. Um, so yeah, it was super, super stoked on, on the, the pop with the board. Yeah, I mean, it's got um, some good aggressive channeling on the bottom of it. So no matter, you can ride it with the uh, standard. Um, inch and three quarter fins or you can rock down to a smaller size and it'll be still have a decent amount of grip for you yeah who like what kind of rider would you send on this board uh definitely an intermediate rider um probably not a beginner style board yeah i mean it, it wouldn't be something i'd send a new rider out on but for that kind of intermediate rider it's going to help them take their freestyle jumping yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of that next tier this gives you a nice even beginner intermediate you know that yeah. somebody that's looking for a little bit of extra pop you know starting to get into your back rolls front rolls all that this is definitely going to be the board for you yeah got the guy looking to toss some boots on a board maybe yep back in the day definitely rode this board with boots not so much anymore but <laughs> uh, still a great board for if you want to toss on those boots dip into the dark arts a little bit <laughs> All right, guys, this has been Dustin <laughs> and Pat with MattKiteboarding.com. Uh, checking out the Asylum V10. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, call us, email the shop. Holler. Let us know in the comment section down below. Send a carrier pigeon. Yeah, whatever it may be. Get <laughs> we'll, do our best. we'll do our best to get back to you on it. Yeah. <laughs>